The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC by Ford. Ladies and gentlemen, The Ford Show, starring Tennessee, Tennessee Ernie, Tennessee Ernie. When you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. When you're laughing, why when you're laughing, the sun comes shining through. But when you're crying, you bring on the rain, so stop your sighing. Be happy again, I keep on smiling. When you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. Our guest, Tony Bennett, ladies and gentlemen. Clouds are gonna clear up. Yeah. Put on a happy face. Brush off the clouds and cheer up. Put on a happy face. Take off that gloomy mask of tragedy. It's not your style. You'll look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile. Pick out a pleasant outlook. Stick out that noble chin. Wipe off that full of doubt look. Slap on a happy grin. And spread sunshine all over the place. And put on a happy, happy, happy face. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. When you're laughing, when you're laughing, the sun comes shining. shining through. But when you're crying, you bring all the rain, so stop your sighing. Be happy again, keep on smiling. When you're smiling, the whole world smiles. Come on like a truckload of bullfrogs. That's the best I ever saw. Come on, now, now you go, you go and, 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 and do whatever you want to do. You're yeah. going to come back and sing for us in a little bit. Yeah. Thanks for being in the open. Ain't he fine? Ain't he pretty, though? Man, I wish I looked like that in my clothes. I don't know. I look like a sack full of doorknobs. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Am I all right? Good. I'm a little tender myself. <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, Betty and I took the two boys up to the snow country over the weekend. We were bobsledding <laughs> for a whole day. Betty steered, she sat up front. Then came Buck and Brian. And right about where I was sitting, we run out of sled. <laughs> Now, I was supposed to be the brakeman. And after one run down that hill, my brakes needed relining. <laughs> did, did you see that, honey? Did you see that there? Oh, we had fun, though. I must say, folks living out here in Southern California, they don't know what cold is. My gracious. Back home when I was a kid, we didn't have any of these modern conveniences. Especially down at Grandma's. And <laughs> just checking, just checking, that's all. Just checking. Just saying, well, out here, you know, it gets a little nippy. Everybody has a fit. Oh, they 
throw an electric blanket on the bed. Back home, when you got cold, the best you could do to keep warm was to throw another hound dog in the bed. <laughs> and if you didn't have a hound dog, you got married. <laughs> now, no, no matter how cold it was, there was chores that had to be done. Now, there's just things that could, you couldn't put off because it was cold. Now, you... You don't know. <laughs> Some of you live there, I can tell. <laughs> you don't know what you've missed until you've gotten up at 4.30 on a cold morning and lit an old smoky lantern to go out to the barn and try to milk an old rogue cow. And it's colder than the very bottom of a... <clears throat> well, <laughs> well, you get down to the barn and on the way you kick a few corn cobs loose from the ground to put them behind the stove and start a fire. And you get into the barn. You more than get to the barn. You remember this? And you step into the barn and that old cow turns around to that look. Said, well, here comes old Icy Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get the milking stool and you sit there and try to milk her. She's fidgety, cold, won't eat. And you ever notice the switch of their tail? 14 pounds of cuckleburrs are hanging. <laughs> and you get just about going good on your job and she'll hit you right in the side of the ear. <laughs> just like a hickory maw. Now that's fun if you've never done that. And if you're not fast enough, the milk freezes before it hits the bucket. <laughs> He got milk sticks for breakfast. <laughs> it's awful hard to strain the milk when it's that way, too. Spe speaking of icy fingers, you're not exactly welcome in the hen house, either. You start feeling under the hen for the egg. <laughs> I tell you, they got so they used to come running up to the back door, lay them and run. <laughs> Well, I've managed to get you cold enough now. So much for that. Here's something that I am sure will warm the cockles of your heart. Here they are, the top 20. You've been traveling on the plane, but she says, please, honey, take the train.
Announcing a new shape, a new design, with a new name. Ford Econoline. Econoline, a completely new concept in trucks, a great engineering advance. Here's the Econoline pickup, all the way new to save four big ways. First, lowest price, as much as $260 less than standard half tonners. Second, it's powered by the proven Falcon engine, famous for its economy. Third, less dead weight. With 1,050 pounds less chassis weight, the Econoline pickup carries over a three-quarter ton payload. Fourth, bigger load space, full seven-foot box, up to 23% more load space, yet three feet less truck length to handle. It's the newest pickup from Ford, with a new shape, a new design, and a new name, Ford Econoline. Now, here's Ford's new Econoline van with all the same money-saving economy features, the same trip-saving load space. You can load it from the rear or from curbside. And inside, over 204 cubic feet of cargo space. There's never been a panel truck easier to load, easier to park and unpark, easier to own than this van with a new shape, a new design, and a new name, Ford Econoline. Finally, the work-loving, fun-loving Econoline station bus. It's priced less than most compact station wagons, yet has twice the room of the biggest full-size wagons. And it converts to a load carrier in a jiffy. There are your Ford dealers now, the trucks with a new shape, the new design, and the new name, Ford Econoline. Oh, yes, indeed. Thank you. And now it's time to bring back our guest. What a wonderful, inimitable style that this man has. Here's Tony Bennett to sing his latest wonderful record from the new Broadway show, Camelot, Follow Me. <laughs> Far from day, far from night, out of time, out of sight, in between earth and sea, we shall fly, follow. Dry the rain on the snow where the winds never go. Follow me, follow me, follow me to a cave by a sapphire shore where we'll walk through an emerald door and for thousands of breathless evermores my life you shall be only you only I world farewell world goodbye to our home Neat the sea, we shall fly. Follow me, follow me, follow me, only you, only you, only I. World farewell, world goodbye to our home. shall fly follow me follow me follow me
stirred up a hornet's nest. <laughs> That's a compliment. That song is great. You sing it like you love it. Too. I love that song. That's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> it's got a wonderful record on that. And I, uh, well, as, as, as they say, your people say, that was a gasser. Uh, well, yeah, I couldn't be more tickled if I was a short cow walking over a tall chicken, Ernie. <laughs> I think a little of me's rubbing off on you. Well, I sure hope so. Oh. <laughs> you know, you can help me out on something. How's that? Well, you know, I've been working in, uh, mostly in cafes, and, mm -hmm. uh, but my manager recently booked me in, in these big state fairs. and. Oh? Uh, it sounds very exciting, you know, to play these kind of people oh, and folks, but yeah. uh, I don't know. I, I, I know you could give me a few tips on how to entertain them. Oh, maybe I can. I don't, I don't know. You'll have a lot of fun working state fairs, I'll say that. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you figure on wearing? Well, how's about this? <clears throat> no, no. It looks nice, but now they, they spot you in a tuxedo there, and they, they, they'll figure you for a dude right away. They, they, <laughs> Well, they'll figure you're laid out and ready to be put away. That's the... <laughs> I, it's... Okay. I'll, I'll wear something a lot more casual, right? Fine. Even a combination. Coat and trousers and a shirt and tie. Fine. Oh, it's fine. just something casual. Good. And look, uh, the, uh, the low shoes, the low-cut shoes have got to go. Well, how come? Well, where you work in the big state fairs, you know, you work well, where all these people are and where you work there, they judge animals there. Mm -hmm. And, and they, they have rodeos. <laughs> And, uh, well, there you go again. And, and, well, no, it's the sawdust on the floor. It's the sawdust. And, and, and so anything, uh, well, lower than an ankle length boot, it, well, the sawdust, you know. It's, it's, uh, Linger on that. Huh? But you don't have to worry about things like that, though. Well, um,. Let's see, what kind of songs should I sing? Oh, you're home free there. The songs mm -hmm. that everybody loves you for. The Cold, Cold Heart Because of You and all those wonderful hit Good. songs. And, Thank you. And put in some rural jokes. They well, I don't, I don't know any rural jokes. Uh, well, maybe I can help you there. I, I have a new album that's just come out this week. Uh, they, they recorded my whole act at the Indiana State Fair this mm -hmm. year. And I'll give you a couple of rural mm -hmm. jokes if you want. Okay. No, no, I really will. Well, let's, uh, what, how would you, uh... Oh, come on, you can get it. I don't think you could, I wouldn't know how to tell it. Let you me see, tell you one. You'll get it. Now, come here. Oh, you're okay. down the river. Okay. Okay. Hey, walk on in. Sweet. I didn't. I, I, I wanted to feed you to get Now, you go ahead and tell I wouldn't know how to. Yeah, you can tell it. Now, go on. Now, get, take the bit in your teeth and go. Okay. Go ahead. Well... Okay, one afternoon, old Grandpa Gritbucket was walking along by the river. Uh, uh, Tony, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> These I'm people talking? come to see you and hear you. They're in no hurry. Slow her down. Okay. Take it easy. Visit with them. Oh. Don't go so fast. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, one afternoon, old Grandpa Gritbucket was walking down by this here street. Uh, uh, that's fine, that, that's fine. One more thing, Tony. Yeah. Relax. Good. It's hot these fairs. Undo your tie. Okay. That's it. Good. There you go. Oh, okay. That's the way. Yeah. Now, uh, here, like this. Yeah. Put your hands in front. Okay. Yeah. Like that? <clears throat> look right at him. <laughs> look, look, look right at him and sort of uh, kick the sawdust a little bit. Just, just, uh, it, eh? Give it to him. All you right. got it. Now. Okay, gotcha. That's good. Okay. Well, <clears throat> one afternoon, old Grandpa Grip Bucket was walking down by this here river. That's it, buddy. <laughs> That's it. Buddy. And he seen this friend of his plumb in the middle of the river drowning. So. <laughs> So Grandpa fished him out and he said, Fudd, that was his name, Fudd, that's what I called him. <laughs> he said, how, how come you came to fall in this river? <laughs> and Fudd said, I didn't come to fall in, I come to fish. <laughs>
I'll tell you, there's nothing like a real broad southern accent, is there? <laughs> like that? I think you well, did fine. Good, Ernie. Thanks well, now, so wait much. a minute. I scraped your coop, you scraped mine. Huh? Is that another rural I, joke? No, that's <laughs> not. Finally, somebody's visiting me on the show that's as big a fan of Hank Williams' songs as I am. Right? Yeah. Will you well, help me sing a few? I'd love to. Pull up so a good. stool and sit down. We, we, we love his songs. They're a real, real great thing. Harry, let's do the first one. Here we go. <laughs> if the wife and I start fussing, brother, that's all right. Because me and that sweet woman's got a license to fight. Why don't you mind your own business? Remember what you <laughs> Mind your own business. Cause if you mind your business, then you won't be mind and mine. That's one of the first ones he ever wrote. Hey, do the one that you recorded first that he wrote. You okay. listen, this you remember this. I tried so hard, my dear, to show that you're my every dream. Yet you're afraid each thing I do is just some evil scheme. Oh, that's nice. A memory from your lonesome past keeps us so far apart. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? Oh, you sing them like you mean them. That's marvelous. Isn't that fine? Boy, that's fine. Hey, remember this? He wrote another little rhythm song I'm trying to think of. Why don't you love me like you used to do? How come you treat me like a worn-out shoe? My hair's still curly and my eyes are still blue. Why don't you love me like you used to do? I ain't I had no loving like a hugging and a kissing in a long, long while. We don't get nearer, further, closer than a country mile. Why don't you spark me like you used to do? And say sweet nothings like you used to coo. I'm the same old trouble that you've always been through. Why don't you love me like you used to do? He wrote a lot of those guys. I'll pretend. I'm free from sorrow yeah. Make believe That wrong is right He did write that yeah. Yeah. Your wedding day Will be tomorrow yeah. But there'll be No teardrops tonight Now go Oh why, oh why yeah. Should you desert me Are you for spite If you only want to hurt me Oh, you got a hold of it now Then there'll be yeah. no teardrops tonight <laughs> They find some I bet you remember that one <laughs> Your cheating heart Oh, 
how that man writes songs, I tell you. There's one more big hit song. What in the world is the name of that song? What is that? Jump yes, That's it. Jump Goodbye, Joe. Me gotta go. Me, oh my, oh. Me gotta go. Pull the Piro down the bio. My Yvonne, the sweetest one. Me, oh my, oh. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Grab the bucket, go. Jambalaya, crawfish pie, Billy Gobo. Cause tonight I'm gonna see my general me. Yeah. <laughs> big guitar, big guitar, and big gay Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Everybody now. Jambalaya, the crawfish pie, the Billy Gobo. Cause tonight I'm gonna see my general me. Big guitar, milk fruit jar, and big gay Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. And now, here's big news from Ford. Big news about station wagons, the 1961 Ford wagons. There's new styling, for all Ford wagons are beautifully proportioned to the classic Ford look. A luxurious example is the six-passenger Country Squire, newest addition to America's most complete line of station wagons. There's new convenience. A power-operated rear window is now standard on Country Squires and the popular nine-passenger Country Sedan optional on other models. There's new loading ease. A wider tailgate opening measures over four feet across, and altogether there's over 10 feet of loading space. There's new comfort because Ford wagons are built for people. Notice all nine passengers face forward naturally. And like all 61 Fords, every new Ford wagon is beautifully built to take care of itself. See them at your Ford dealer showroom. Thank you very much. We're a little bit late. We had so much fun, we're out of time. I want to thank Tony Bennett for dropping by for a delightful visit. Tony Bennett, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Come back to me. Have a wonderful time at Christmas. What a fine young fella to be around for a whole week. We'll be back next week when our guest will be Jimmy Rogers and the beautiful Rose Bowl Queen and her lovely princesses will be with us. And don't forget to tune in Sunday night for a show called Something Special. A lot of wonderful entertainers and some beautiful children. Until then, don't you forget to drop in and see your Ford dealer and see the new Econa line. Good night and bless your little pea-picking heart. The Ford Show is brought to you by Ford, America's station wagon specialist. See the 61 Ford Wagon, everyone beautifully built to take care of itself. The Ford Show is a living color presentation on NBC. Now stay tuned for Groucho Marx and the Groucho Show next over most of these NBC stations. Ford also brings you Wagon Train starring Ward Bond and Robert Horton over most of these same NBC stations.